Okay. Uh, let me just get the camera on over here. Nice. Last, I'm sorry, you know, I was late again over here, but I was just uh, explaining something. And I don't know in your places, but over here at home, it rained a little bit this night. Did it rain over there at your places or not? No. Okay. Yeah, you know, the weather is crazy, you know, over here. But uh, here we go. I need to start by asking you if you already finished the platform. I know that Arturo, you already finished the platform, which is great. And this week, you, you should be working on section four, at least, okay? If you uh, haven't yet completed uh, section four, it's okay, you still have the weekend to do so, okay? So, you know, don't worry about that, but remember that we, we have to complete the platform. Uh, so that's actually mandatory over here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and share the screen with you. Uh, and, and this is what we have for that date, all right? So I'm going full screen over here. All right, so, so right now you can see just the screen in blank, right? Am I correct? Okay, but that, that's actually a uh, part of the plan. <laughs> okay, so let me just take this away. All right, so the word of the day, it's up to your ears in, all right? So you can say right now at my job, I am up to my ears in paperwork. You have to uh, write many reports, you have to send a lot of emails, but if you work in something manually, you have to, I don't know, repair cars or fix stuff over there, okay? So it's up to your ears, or you can also say, I am buried, okay, with words. Estoy como hasta aquí, de trabajo, yeah. That's uh, what this expression means. Up to your ears, in, in work, up to your ears in problems. <laughs> Etc. Right. So uh, let me just exemplify this very quickly. Up to your ears in something. Remember that something can be replaced with the problem that you have. You can say, right now I am up to my ears with exercises in English corporativo platform. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, right? If you haven't done anything, so you have to do section one, two, three, the midterm section four because. Jose Alfaro is, is pushing you, right? And my boss is pushing me to tell you. So you are like up to your ears, right? Okay, with the things that you have to do, okay? And this means to be extremely busy. For example, I'm sorry, I can't come out this weekend. I'm up to my ears in work, just like this. I would say that this is you and this is me sometimes. Okay, or maybe most of the time, all right? So that applies to us. What if I show you this image, everyone? <laughs> you see this lady, you know, answering the phone, you know, uh, drinking coffee, typing on the computer, analyzing some graph, doing some calculations, uh, delivering some reports, writing something, uh, checking a binder, Etc. And then she's getting more stuff. She's gonna send an email. I think this image does exemplify what up to your ears means. Okay. Yeah. Estar como soterrado, demasiado cargado de trabajo, or of something you can say too, or to be extremely busy. All right. For example, I remember that Lorena. I, I'm using Lorena as an example because she said, "I'm a full-time." Uh, uh, I would say housewife, and also she's a professional. I can say. And you have to be a mom, a wife, uh, a nurse, and everything. So every single day, I can bet that you are up to your ears, you know, in things that you have to complete. All right? So that's the case over there. Now, that being said, let's move forward. All right? So the first thing I'm going to just explain to you briefly or shortly is the present continuous. And I think this is just a review for you. 
es un, un pequeño repaso. Ok. Remember, the present continuous is used for an action that is happening at the moment you are living or speaking. Like right now, you're listening to me. Right now, you are uh, looking at this screen. Ok. Right now, you're thinking that, I don't know, uh, that you have to do something later on. So that's the present continuous. An action that is ongoing, you know, is happening, or, or it's developing right now. And I would say that the grammar for this is not complicated at all, because it's, I would say, uh, literal, just like this. Are you living at home now, okay? Yes, I am. Sometimes, let me clarify this, all right? Sometimes the action is not happening right now, like in this, in this hour, like at 9, 12. But the action is temporary, all right? The action is temporary. Like I can say, right now, due to what I would say, this month or this uh, year, due to COVID-19, I'm studying English online okay you can say that or you can say right now or or this month uh, i'm working from home okay so the present continuous can be used for an action that is happening right now as we are speaking or for a temporary action okay uh, I, I can say my mom is traveling in guatemala right now Okay, because she's having a vacation over there. All right. So that's the the explanation about the uh, the uh, present continuous, and obviously about the grammar. You know this already, right? So you say, uh, is your sister working for the government? Maybe she has a temporary job over there. Okay, and you can say yes or not, right? So maybe it's just temporary. Okay. Uh, are Ed and Jill taking classes this year? Maybe you don't know. Maybe uh, Ed only took classes last year, and that's why you're asking over there. What are you working now? Okay. So maybe uh, I would say, Carla, you're working for a different company right now because uh, that's part of your job, okay, to go to different places to do something over there, okay. Now, the next one, what is your brother doing right now? Yeah, this one, it can be right now as we are speaking, or it could be this month or this week, or uh, I would say this year, okay? The last one, what are your friends doing these days? And you can say, actually, I don't know, because maybe uh, I would say uh, uh, Gerardo is studying abroad, or maybe he's working or I haven't seen them, you can say too. So, one more time, present continuous for an action that can be happening right now, okay, or for an action that is temporary, all right? Like you uh, studying English because you're not gonna be studying English forever, all right? So, and that's the idea over there. Now, look at these images right below. It says, complete these phone conversations using the present continuous. You have this gentleman uh, talking on the phone and then he's drinking something and then you have this lady talking on the phone and we'll see what happens over there. So action number one, and you see option number two, two different places. And I think this is the same person over here. All right. And, uh, but you're not going to invent anything. You're not going to make things up over here. no se va a sacar las oraciones de la de la manga, right? Like of uh, your of your sleep over here, right? Now you're going to fill in the blanks with this. And if you completed the platform already, you, you're going to realize se van a dar cuenta that is the same exercise that you can uh, come across with in or you can find in the platform. Okay. But before you practice this. Uh, I'm going to share this conversation with you, all right? Because I want you to kill two birds with one stone, all right? Matar dos pájaros de un solo tiro. And that's the idea over here. We got to be efficient, all right? So we're going to put this on hold. Lo vamos a poner en espera. We're going to put this on hold, this, this exercise. And let's go uh, straight to this part, all right?
present continuous. You see this gentleman, he's a mechanic and maybe he's fixing the car and that's happening right now because the car is broken. So you're gonna listen to four short conversations and you're gonna take the quiz, all right? But right now, let me just introduce this to you very quickly. So number one, what's, what is something, uh, sorry, let me just go back. Let me get this very quickly. All right, so what's, what is someone doing in conversation one? Maybe using a computer or writing a letter. Number two, what is someone doing in conversation two? Eating up, eating soup, preparing food. Conversation number three, what's someone doing in conversation three? Tuning up a car, o sea, poniéndolo de toque, tuning up a car, you know, tune, como sintonizar. Tuning up a car, working quickly, or number four, what is someone doing in conversation four? Maybe playing sports or just watching soccer over there. So let me send the uh, this to you, all right? And um, we're going to start with this quiz first. So the first thing you're gonna do is to take this quiz, all right? And then you're gonna practice the script with your uh, partner, all right? So that would be the, the second thing to do. And the third thing would be, all right, to fill in the blanks with this thing, it, which, which are uh, some uh, conversations that you can see. All right, do we have a deal, everyone? All right, so do you have any questions for me right now? Or is, is everything clear for you? Yeah. All right, so it's clear, right? It's crystal clear, you may say, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm getting the, the uh, access to the conversation right now, okay? So remember, present continuous is one of the most useful uh, tenses or, or tiempo gramaticales, all right? So that's why I encourage you to use it all the time because it's part of, of our daily life, okay? So bear with me just one second. Um, so uh, let me ask. So Frank, could you please tell me what you're supposed to do right now? Like, could you tell me the order of the things that you're supposed to do, of the activity, please? Like if you say first, well, we have to do this, second, this, third, this, please. All right, so it's okay. So, uh, so everyone, please listen to the listen to the uh, to the quiz, and if you want, share the the score to me, please, right now. So I'm just gonna mute my microphone. Okay. So one second more here.
Whenever you're ready, please uh, go ahead and share the, the scores with uh, the class, if you like, please. All right, thank you. Right now I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna send, or I'm sending the, uh, that present continuous exercise in which you are supposed to fill in the blanks. Oh, wait, oh, there, please. All right, just one second, all right. Remember to practice the conversation first, I mean the four uh, conversations over there, and then to fill in the blanks with this exercise, all right? Thank you. So just one second more here. Mm. All right, so right now I'm going to open the, the rooms, you know, the breaker room, so you can practice in purse that conversation. And then the uh, the fill in the blanks exercise over there. All right. So one second. Here we go. All right. So the rooms are, are, are open. So go ahead, please, and join them. Thank you. All right, so Mr. Roberto, I'm going to send you to. Um... Hello, sir. Yeah, hello, sir. So, Isaiah, I'm going to send you to. Uh, uh... No, but right now, Roberto and Isaiah are, with, uh, are here. So, why don't you practice uh, together, please? Isael and also. No, oh, Isael is over here. So, it's him. All right, so, Robert, Ro Mr. Robert uh, Jimenez, I'm going to send you yes. to, uh, to my room, okay? So, you can practice with somebody over there, all right? Okay. Just one second. All right, hold on. All right. Uh, yeah, please uh, join the uh, the room. Thank you. the parts of the cars. But he is not working. He is just standing there. He is talking his time because he wasn't, he was, he, no, he wants to do the job right. He is listening to the radio as the work, as he work. Okay. What are the wind? There are the rings. They are playing outside. They are playing soccer with their friends. They are using the front lawn as a soccer pit. 
pink. Pink. Are they having fun? They they are having a lot of fun. They are exercising, so they are boring. Mm. Ah, me falta. Boring, loss, loss of energy. I think they are trying to soft wave. Ay, qué Eso sí me cuesta. <laughs> Wait. Uh, let, let me let me help you if you, if you like, okay? Okay. So, uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so it's conversation number four, right? Yes. So you say, okay. So listen to me, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the man and the woman over here. So what we have to do most of the time, Carla, is to join the sounds, o sea, unir los sonidos, link the sounds, mm -hmm. okay, enlazarlos, just like this, listen to this. What is Bob doing? Bob is, Bob, Bob is, Bob is working on, working on, working on his car. He is, he is, or he's giving it, he's giving it, he's giving it, he's giving it. A tune-up, a tune-up. He is changing the oil and checking all, checking all the parts, checking all the parts of the courts. But he's not working. He's just standing there. He's taking his time because he wants to do the job right. He, he is listening to the radio as he works. Or he's listening to the radio as he works, you may say. Puede cambiar la entonación, no hay problema. Now the other one, conversation okay. number four. Where are the twins? They are playing outside. They are playing soccer with their friends. They are using the front lawn. Lawn, lawn is como la grama, okay? Mm -hmm. Lawn as a soccer pitch. Are they having fun? They are having a, a lot of fun. They are having a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fun. They are exercising, exercising, exercising. So they are burning, burning, como con una E chiquita. They are, no, no dice burning ni burning, okay? Dice burning, como con una E. Lots of, lots of energy, lots of, lots of energy. Lots of. Lots of. I think, y allá se la pausa. Yo creo, I think, they are okay. trying to lose weight. All right, okay. so the, okay, so Carla, the important thing in here is to make the pauses. Hay que hacer las pausas, correcto. Okay. All right, so that's the okay. key over here. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. You can continue. I yes, wait. It, it moving. Mm. It moving now. It is. It's moving. It moving, moving now. Uh -huh. Thank goodness. Oh. And the uh, number two, mercy. How, mm. how how are you? How are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? Mm -hmm. Yes. We... Right. It's el, el verbo is have. Oh, excuse, see. Excuse me, are you working on these images? Yes. Yes, in the number two. Number, all right. In... All right, you finish, did you finish all, all of the uh, conversations over here? Yes. All right. Let's do something, uh, Frank. Uh, why don't you practice with someone over here? And you choose, all right? I don't know, maybe with Ernesto, with Arely over here. Yes. But let, let's do something if you like. So, Frank, uh, practice uh, the first one, uh, you know, the one that says, Hi, Stephanie, with uh, Arely, and then practice the second one, Frank, with Ernesto. If you don't mind, please. Okay. All right. So go ahead, please. Ten, perdón, tenemos que practicar el, el fill the blank. El, like, like if it's a conversation, yeah. you're going to be a student A, Frank, and then uh, Arely will be a student B. Please. will be student B. So you start. Mm -hmm. like, Hi, Stephanie. Say Stephanie. Uh -huh. Yes. So your mark. Frank and then uh, release Stephanie. 
Ah, okay. sorry. Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing? Hey, Mark. Uh, I am no. Uh, see, I'm studying in an elevator. Elevator and it's it is stuck. Stuck. Mm -hmm. Perdón. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I why I wipe it. It's moving. Now that's goodness. Yeah, in this case, yeah, it's perfect, actually, it's perfect. Uh, the thing is that his, I mean, uh, Stephanie's friend, Mark, he's like very chill, you know, he's like, okay, nothing, uh, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, very dangerous is happening to, to, to her. That's why, that's why Stephanie, uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, uh, no, no, Stephanie's B, Stephanie say, yeah, I, I, uh, she was going to say, I, I'm afraid or I'm scared, she was gonna say. That's what she said. Yeah, I, I wait. It, it's moving now. Thank you know, thank goodness. All right. Gracias a Dios. Thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, thank goodness, right? Yes. Okay, so Frank, you're gonna be a uh, student eight on, on the second conversation between these women, and then Mr. Ernesto Portillo, you're going to be a uh, student B. All right. Okay. Go ahead, please. I am the num I am the letter A. 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 Mercy. Yes, mm -hmm. Mercy. How are you? How are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? All right. So Ernesto. Are... Ah, Ernesto, okay. But Ernesto I don't think is listen is is can hear us right now. So continue really, no problem. Ernesto, your microphone. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, uh we <laughs> We had a lot of fun, a lot, uh, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we're, 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 we're having, we're having a lot of fun. We're having, uh, All right. we're All right, so having Frank. a lot of fun. All right, mm -hmm. so Frank, continue, boys. Is your brother spending a lot of money? <laughs> oh, sorry, are you no, brother? No, no. Are you brother? No, no, that's okay, that's okay. Is your brother spending a lot of money? Because you're talking about is your brother. Your brother here, right? You're talking about he. It's correct, Frank. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, mom. No, mom. He um, bring only one or two things, and there's all. Uh, that's all. The, that's that's all. Ah, uh, that's all. That's all, right? All right. That's, that's all. So I can we, say that, that Justin we, and, and uh, Marcy are siblings, right? Am I correct? Yeah, they're siblings. They're siblings, right? Because the mom is checking on them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's double checking, o sea, cerciorándose, double checking that they're not spending more money than the, what they are supposed to, right? <laughs> mm. All right, so let's close the rooms and let's go back to the main session. I'm going to give you some tips or some advice for the uh, pronunciation on the four short conversations, right? Thank you. Welcome. No, nosotros regresamos. Apretamos ahí donde dice break up. Regresa. Yeah, I think everybody is in here, uh, Lorena. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. is in here already, yes. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay, now listen to me, please, just for a second. I know that I have spoken a lot uh, tonight, I would say. But as it's a tradition, I need to give you some tips because the idea is that you uh, speak as natural as possible or as fluently as possible, all right? So that's the point over here. So let me just hide this. So, so my point is to, re to review with you what I like to call link, right? Link sounds, right? That's what that's what uh, these uh, connection of sounds are. Link sounds, right? Link sound. And please try to remember this term because I'm always uh, mentioning this. Okay. So the link sounds, all right? Link sounds, which means are the connection 
or the connections or sound between one word and the other one, or, or between the end of a word with the next one. Those are link sounds, all right? Link sounds. And for native speakers, people who are born, let's say in England, uh, let's say in Ireland, in Canada, et cetera, in the United States, they learn this, you know, naturally. But right now we gotta do our best to try to, uh, I would say to imitate this, okay? So here we go. Where are you from? You see, that's why we say where are, you know, where are you from? Where are you from? That's a link sound. You, you know, you say it without realizing it, sin darse cuenta. I'm working inside, working in, working inside. There's a link sound, all right? What is the what is the ultimate rule? ¿Cuál es la regla general? After a consonant sound, if there's a if there's a vowel sound, you gotta join the consonant sound with the vowel sound. Une la consonante con la vocal all the time, always. Okay, always. You have to do that. All right. It's mandatory. O sea, es obligación hacerlo. I am writing, writing, writing a letter to my friend. I'm telling him about my life, my life and my life and my life, life and my new job. But you can make the, the, the pause over here. I see una pausa, you know. I'm telling him about my life and my new job. All right. Are you, are you, are you, are you using, are you using, y como es el mismo, es el mismo sonido, lo unimos. ¿verdad? Are you using, are you using the computer? Right, yes, all right. I'm not using it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not using the computer because, because, because I, because I, because I like to uh, hand write letters. My hand is, my hand is getting tired though. Okay, mi ma la mano se me está cansando. Where's Mary? Or where is, where is, where is, you know, where is, where is Mary? Where is Mary is Mary is Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> All right, so Mary is cooking in cooking in the kitchen. She is all right. In this case, it's two separate sounds. She is right because she is she's chopping chopping up chopping up chopping up nap chopping up some vegetables because she is making a making a vegetable soup making a making a all right how is how is she making it how is she making it how is she making it she's reading uh she's reading a reading a a recipe and following the instructions you know you can say the instructions the instructions right the instructions all right si el de pasa antes de una vocal de un sonido que no sea you le tienen que decir the the instructions all right and then the instructions inside, instructions inside. O sea que en inglés sí pronunciamos las S. Si no la pronuncia, vamos a hablar mal. In Spanish, we say nosotros. You don't say hey, nosotros, right? But we gotta you know, do our best. The instructions inside. She is enjoying herself. She is, right? Now let's continue with Bob. What is, what is, what is Bob doing? What is? Like I'm telling you, what is your problem? What is, all right? What I can tell you, what's your problem, you know? Bob is, Bob. Bob is working on, working on, working on. Okay, he is giving it, he is giving it, giving it, giving it a tune-up, 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 tune-up. He's changing the oil, the oil, he's changing the oil. Le dije, but I, I just reminded you, so, Si da estante de sonido de vocal, se dice como D, all right? The oil and checking all, checking all, checking all the parts. Tampoco con esto lo quiero decir que tienen que unir todo, ¿verdad? O que vayan ir corriendo. But it has to come out of your mouth naturally, right? That's the idea, right? It has to be pronounced naturally. Uh, so he's changing the oil and checking all the parts, parts, parts of, parts of the parts. But Teacher. yes, sir. Excuse me. Eh, by when you're reading the oil, like 
y de ahí le checking out the past porque aquí se en the oil se el d se, eh, se pronuncia the oil y aquí se pronuncia the past ah porque la regla es si da es decir él verdad ese artículo o preposición está antes o antecede a un sonido de vocal se tiene que decir the the oil right se tiene que decir como the pero si antecede a una palabra que es una consonante, comienza con consonante o se pronuncia con consonante, tiene que decir de o da. All right? So you can say that cards, uh, checking all the parts of that cards or the cards. So it's up to you. Thank you. Yeah, that's the rule over there. Uh, but for umbrella, I'm sorry, for university, university, you say the university, all right? The university, you don't say the university, no, 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 you say the university. I study in the university, all right? There's an apple over there, you can say, ah, I would like to have the apple, you know, the apple, you know, la manzana, la manzana de la discordia, right? The uniform. The, the uniform, correct, the uniform, yes. But in this case, if you say the instructions, yo le digo, read the instructions, please. The instructions, mm. all right? The instructions, all right? All right, so let, let's continue over here. So I was here, but he's not, but he's not working, he's not. Y el not, en realidad no se dice como not, como una O, sino que tiene que decir como una A. He's not, not working, not working, not working. Remember yesterday I told you mother, it's mother, like mother, all right? You don't say my mother, no, you don't say my mother, you say my mother, all right? Hay que como disfrazar el sonido. But he's not working. He's just, he's just, he's just standing. And remember, con los sonidos de ese, como Spanish, student, standing, you gotta do the sound, right? He's, he's just standing, 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 right? All right, like this case. He's taking, he's taking uh, his time because he wants to do the job right. He is listening to the radio, radio, right? You can say radio or radio, 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 yo, yo. He lis he's listening to the radio as he works. All right, next one. Unimos el sonido, el sonido de la R con esto. Where are, where are, where are, where are, where are the twins? Da or D. I'm sorry, Dina. It would be where are the twins or where are the teams? Where are the twins? De, right? They are playing outside, playing outside, playing outside. They are playing soccer with their friends. They're, they're, no me digan they're, por favor. They're, they're, no. It's they're, como ahí, they're, como there is, right? They're friends. Igual aquí, they are, they are using, they are using the front lawn, lawn, lawn es la grama, okay? Lawn, lawn. They're using the lawn, the front lawn as, as a, as a, as a soccer pitch, as a soccer pitch. Another link sound. Are they having fun? Having fun, right? Are they having fun? They are having a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, right? All right? Esta palabrita, you know, this one, which is a quantifier, which we're going to study later on, is used by a lot of people in the United States. They say, I have a lot of problems, all right? I don't have a lot of money, <laughs> etc. right? They say that. I don't have a lot of time. A lot of, a lot of, or a lot of, right? A lot of. They're having a lot of fun. They are exercising, so they are burning, burning. No, no digan burning, ni burning. You see, burning, burning, como una E chiquita, burning. Burning lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of energy. I think they are trying to lose weight. Now, please, uh, don't try to, uh, I would say, learn this like as, as, as a memory test. The idea is that you have to make a conscious, uh, I would say, uh, action to try to pronounce or to link the sounds, all right? So this has to be like a conscious, a uh, decision for you right now but then it has to be unconsciously because it's going to be part of you because right now you're still learning but with this 
this is a golden key what i'm giving you right now it's a golden key all right so it's a golden key what i'm giving you right now saben qué es esto esto se llama fonética right this is the phonetics all right this is phonetics of a language let's move forward over here um, let's continue with this all right discussion if you want to uh, talk about the present continuous for a temporary for a temporary action all right for a temporary action you can use this question is anyone this one right is anyone all right so it's anyone traveling in your family is anyone uh, living abroad is anyone taking a class right now yes we are right is anyone going to high school or college in your family is anyone moving to a new home maybe you is anyone studying a foreign language you're going to practice this but let's say in a couple of minutes yes we still have time all right but in this case you're going to practice two uh, exercises all right this one find someone who all right this is the name of the game encontrar a alguien que all right find someone who si fuera algo general if it's like general 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 if it's something general no digamos general all right like a general right como objetivo general general objective we say general La terminación AL se dice como una O, all, general, like local, local, como local, general. Entonces es, find someone who is an only child. If you have this statement, ¿verdad? Así en bruto, you know, just like this, all right? You, you have to make the question, like, do you have any brothers or sisters? All right? If, if for example, I, I ask uh, Carla, and then I'm asking you, Carla, so do you have any brothers or sister? You can tell me, uh, yes, or no, I don't. Or yes, I do. I have uh, two brothers and two sisters. So that's what you're supposed to do. If you say yes, you have to explain or you have to describe, okay? You have to finish the idea, okay? For example, you have this, find someone who has two brothers, I can ask you, how many brothers do you have, uh, Rosa, for example, Miss Lopez? I can ask you, how many brothers do you have? You can tell me. Actually, I don't have any brothers. I am an only child. So, hijo único, o hija única. I'm an only child. Hijo único significa esto. Only child, right? No significa solo, ¿verdad? Ni solitario, right? Ni abandonado. It means hijo único, right? Only child. Okay? Entonces, eh, la oración, I would say the original statement is just a hint it's, it's solamente una pista but what you have to do is to make these questions over there okay and then let's say uh you're gonna practice with with uh, two more participants i'm gonna send you in a group of three and then you're gonna write for example i'm gonna practice with isael and with, with anna ruth and i'm gonna ask the same question to both of you for example question number three how many sisters do you have, Israel? And then Israel tells me, I don't have any sisters, okay? I'm gonna write, so no sisters for Israel. What about you, uh, Anna Ruth? Uh, do you have, how many sisters do you have? And then you tell me, I have one sister. I have two, all right? I'm gonna write, Ruth has two sisters. And then I continue, and then uh, Israel and Anna Ruth ask me, so what about you, Jose? Uh, do you have any sisters or how many sisters do you have? And I can tell you, I don't have any sisters. Okay, you're gonna write, Jose, Oh, Francisco doesn't have any sisters. So that's what you're going to do, okay? That's the first thing. The second one would be this. You're gonna ask these questions to your classmate, all of them, right? You're gonna interview your classmate, like, uh, is anyone, you're gonna start with this, all right? You're gonna start, is anyone in your family traveling? Or is anyone living abroad, all right? Or right now, I'm practicing with Roberto and with Rosa and with Lorena. I'm practicing and I'm in the breaker room right now. So I ask in general, I ask in general, so is anyone uh, going to high school or college uh, in your family or maybe 
any one of you right now? Like I can ask you right now, Lorena. So is anyone in your family going to high school or college? No. No, right. All right. So in that case, you say no over there. And if I ask, uh, is anyone in your family uh, studying a foreign language besides you? No. No, only you, right? <laughs> it's only you, right? Nice. And you can ask some other questions over here. Okay. Yes. But that's number, excuse me? No, no. Yes. And so right now we're just going to st stop over there. Okay. Because the next exercise would be this and the last conversation that I have for you this evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So let me open the breaker rooms and then send these, uh, uh, find someone who came to you so you can start practicing right away. Okay. So just one second. Okay. One moment. 16 participants. So I'm going to send you to groups of three. There's going to be a group, a group of, of four over there. Okay. There we go. All right. So Fernando, Carla, Kevin, and Roberto are together. Anna, Isael, and Janet together. Arely, Jacqueline, Jose Arturo together. Frank, Noemi, Rosa together. Alma, eh, Ernesto, and Lorena, you are together over there, all right? So let me send the, the information to you right away, okay? I'm not. Okay. Uh, Isael, who, how many brothers do you have? I have uh, one, one brother and one sister. Okay. And I, I have one brother and one sister too. All right. So remember to write to write the information because I'm gonna ask you to share it. For example, uh, who's taking notes right now? Who's asking right now? Quién está preguntando? Who's who's asking the questions right now? Sí. Quién estaba preguntando ahorita? La compañera. Ana. 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 Yeah. All right, so, uh, so Anna, uh, I'm going to ask you uh, information about Janet and about Israel, so I can ask you. So, Anna, so tell me the information about Israel and about Janet, so you can tell me. Okay, so uh, Israel has one brother and one sister, 
and uh, Janet uh, doesn't have any sisters or, or, or doesn't have any brothers or only has one brother. So that's where you're going to, you know, share with me, right, or with the class. So that's why it's important if you, that you take notes, okay? Write the number and, you know, some information on that, all right? Thank you. So let's continue, please. Okay. Um, does anyone in your family have and uh, what? When is a job, Kevin? We use No. No. No, no. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Un usual. Unusual. You say unusual. Un unusual. Un unusual. Un usual. And you say unusual, usual, unusual, 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 como unusual. Oh, unusual. Unusual. Like an unusual job unusual. can be that you work, let's say, uh, at night instead of working in the morning or during the day. Or an unusual That's job. Right. Or an, an unusual job could be that you work only, let's say, three or four hours, or or that you rest three or four days during the week. That's unusual because a, a, a normal oh, job, a normal job is you work, you start working eight. at seven or at eight and you finish at eight. five or six, right? Oh. Yeah. Or an unusual job would be if you work on, on the weekends. <laughs> that could be unusual too. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. So did you finish this already, everyone? Kevin, Kevin. No. All right, so. Is either of your parents dying English, Carla? No. Charlie <laughs> doesn't. Uh, living, I live in. I am living brother or sister El Salvador. Así sería, ¿verdad? Yes, excuse me. What's the, what's the question you're asking right now, Arthur? Yes, uh, are any of your brother or sister living abroad? Oh, okay, so you are... Uh, yes, number, number four, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. It means that if if it may be a family member, yeah, it could be a brother, your sister, anybody that, that is living, let's say, in Guatemala or in Honduras or in the United States. Abroad means in el extranjero, abroad. Abroad. Mm. Abroad. All right. In a foreign country, foreign country, right? foreigno, foreign country, or abroad. Abroad is in el extranjero, right? abroad. Okay. So, Areli, the answer is yes. Or not? If it's yes, where? No. All right. Okay. So, uh, Jose, if if uh, Arturo, if let's see, Areli says no, continue asking. Let's see, Jacqueline. All right. Okay. What about uh, you, Jacqueline? And Jacqueline is gonna say yes. So, all right. So, Jacqueline, the same question for you: Are any of your brothers or sisters living abroad? No, I don't. I don't um, live in abroad. My brother and my sister. All right. My right. brother and my. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. teacher. Yeah, I'm sorry. But ahí, ahí tenemos que utilizar el presente continuo. Ahí me va a decir, no, mis hermanos y hermanas no están viviendo. They are not living okay. abroad. Ah, right? okay. Uh -huh. They are okay. They are not bro. They are not uh, living and uh -huh. abroad. All right. Yeah. So you can say they live uh, over here in San Salvador, Santa Tecla, Soyapango, etc. Right. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my the idea is that you say yes or you say no, and then you explain. You say no because they live uh, okay, okay. next to my house, right? <laughs> <You> okay. <live> <laughs> So, or my brother is over here. Yeah, no. 
they, they, they are my neighbors. They are my neighbors, you know. Actually, the computer or the internet I'm using is my brother's, you know, the internet de mi hermano. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can say that, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so continue, please. Oh, and Okay. Um, uh -huh. well, about me? Yes. No. About you? <laughs> Don't need nothing. Yeah, ask questions to Arturo, please. Ask, okay. ask questions. Yes. Uh, well, me? On, me? On English? Only us? <laughs> we, we My are... father is studying English right now. In your case, your, your father is studying, yeah. A foreign language. In, in, in Ernesto, is someone of your family studying another a foreign language? Oh, oh, only, only me, no, solo yo. Okay. All right. And my, oh, um, and my cousin studying Alemán. German. <laughs> German, okay. German. And my cousin studying German. Mm -hmm. Okay. Danke, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We finish the, the second, the two parts, teacher. All right. Yes. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to ask you, uh, Lorena. Could you, could you please share some information about Alma and Ernesto? Some, something that you got from that. Okay. Alma's father is studying English. Mm -hmm. And Ernesto lives with his parents. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and is that uh, a temporary or, I don't know, is that permanent or, I don't know, this year, this month, that he's been living with his friends, Ernesto? With his parents? No, yes. He, 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 uh -huh. I live in home. With my parents. Mm -hmm. Oh, with your parents. Okay, with your parents. All right. All right. Nice. Well, no, my mother. Uh -huh. with your mom, mother. Okay. So you see. Mm -hmm. All right. So if it's if it's permanent, you say I live. All right. But if it's temporary, mm -hmm. you say I am. Right. I am living. I'm undoing, etc. Right. Mm -hmm. And so Alma, Alma, I'm gonna ask you. Uh, so is your father studying English uh, with us, with Inglés Corporativo, or with somebody else, or mm. at a different place? In Academia Americana. Okay. 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 La competencia. Yeah, we went to... <laughs> That's no. okay, I mean. The best. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know I don't even know my co-workers you know my colleagues <laughs> yeah only some of them because you know virtually online it's a totally different story right it's different uh, yeah, yeah yeah it's difficult all right what else what what, what other information do you have about your uh, your classmates Lorena um Ernesto moving a new home yeah it's moved all right all right nice so you're gonna be independent. You're gonna move out of your mother's house, Ernesto. No, they move another another new home. Another oh, new okay. Home. Your mom and okay together. Yes. All right. That that's good. I mean, lucky you. <laughs> yes. Nice. Anything else? What about number seven? Does anyone in your family have an unusual job? Nobody. 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 No, no. Yeah, with this, we don't mean if you sell drugs. No, no, that's not the idea, right? <laughs> no, the idea is maybe if you work, uh, uh, let's say, at night, and then you finish in the morning, like a doctor or a nurse or a security guard, for example, or like people who work in call centers, that, that's an unusual job. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. I have an ocean, yes. an ocean as well too, entonces, then. Yes. Because Why? I am a tutor, or a math tutor. Oh, okay. So you don't have a schedule, right? I don't have a schedule. I go to the homes of the, my students, and I work with, with them. them. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I'm also a tutor sometimes, you know. 
I'm going to. I need. I need someone. When they ask me, do you know how someone to teach me? And I'm going to recommend you. I need your telephone. <laughs> and then, and then I'm gonna give you a commission. You know. <laughs> uh, sure. Nice. Thank you. Let's go back to the main station then. All right. Just one second. I'm gonna close the rooms right now. Okay. All right, so uh, uh, do you listen uh, to the to the rain over here at my house? Can you listen to the rain right now? You see, it's raining right now. Okay. Yeah. It's raining right now. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, I just, I just made, you know, rain right now because we're practicing the present continuous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Okay, so just to introduce the grammar for next week, let's take a look at this, all right? So what's typical, all right? We don't say typical, we don't say typical, we say typical, typical, right? Typical, like typical food, right? Typical food. So, and we have some countries. We have Ireland, Canada, all right? Canada. Mexico, all right, Germany, in Portugal, Australia, United Arab Emirates, okay, South Korea, and Japan. Japan. Yes, the uh, sunrise country, right? El país del sol naciente. And we have some percentages over here. So we have 83%, 35%, 93%, etc., right? So the, the point is, what's typical in each country? In this case, I'm going to ask, let's see, a, a volunteer who can help me uh, read the information from Germany, all right, Ireland, Canada, Mexico, and Portugal. Right now, please. Frank, go ahead, please. In Germany, the average age to be married is 20, 21 for men and, and 31 for men, I'm sorry, and yeah. 28 for women. All in right. Ireland, in Ireland, 83 of the adult population out of their out home. Okay. In Canada, 45% of husband and, and wife share the housework. In Mexico, 93% of household have a TV set. In Portugal, uh, 70. 70, 70 of mother work outside the home. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, right? All right, so I need uh, another volunteer, please, who can help me uh, read the other ones. Me? Please. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Um, in Australia, 13 of household household how more than five people in japan 65 percent of the elderly population live with their children mm -hmm. in south korea 59 percent of couples have children in the united united arab emigrate uh, 85 percent of the population live in Urban areas. areas. All right. Area. Urban areas. All right. So uh, we say urban. in Germany, D, remember, D, the, the yeah. average, yeah. the yeah. average, yeah. es decir, el promedio. All right. So el promedio, mm -hmm. the average uh, age to get married is 31, etc. Population. We say mm -hmm. population. Pa, pa, it, population. It's women, women, women. Excuse me. In, if it, if when, it's, in Germany, me, if, if it's plural, it's women, all right? Women, women, women. women. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. This one, it's urban areas, urban, urban areas, all right? 
areas. Uh, Can you say households? Households. Okay. Household. And then you have adults mm -hmm. or adults. Adults or adults. Eighty-three percent of the the adult the, uh, of the adult population uh, own, yes. own, yeah. own 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 their own. their own house. So, but I have to stop over here because it's time to go. And hope to see you on Monday. We're gonna continue with with this. All right. Hope you have a great weekend and please uh, keep on working on the platform. All right. Let's see you Monday. Good night. Yeah, thank you too. Bye bye. bye. Have a great weekend. Bye, bye. Monday, everybody. Bye, everyone. See you Monday. <laughs> yeah, be safe. <laughs>